Hey guys, 270 Diamond Hunter here. Today we're doing a ballistics gel test for small game animals. So what we have is a 22 long rifle rimfire rifle and we have a 22 caliber air rifle that does about a thousand feet per second. And we're gonna test out on the ballistics gel and see what one can do more damage and see all the shock waves and stuff in the gel. So we have a mag full of 22 rimfire for the 22, and we have Predator Polymag, the expanding pellets that I've used quite a bit, and I want to prove to you that these work just as good and sometimes even better depending on your scenario with the uh, small game animals so let's test it out on the range okay guys so we have the predator polymag in the chamber here's our ballistics gel here's our backstop in case it passes through it so we're going to head back to 10 yards, see what happens. Then I'm going to set up this other ballistics gel, shoot it with a 22 rim fire, and we'll see what the difference is. Okay, let's go. So we had a direct hit right in the middle there, well almost right in the middle, barely even off, and it split the ballistics gel right here, it, that's how much shock it had. If you can see the pass through there, that's nice, right in the middle you can see where it expanded, it looks really cool on there. That was a nice hit. I'm going to look around and see if I can see the pellet. And I found it. There's where the polymer tip would go in it, right there. It actually, it expanded quite a bit. Don't know if you can see it or not. It's not very big, just a little 22 caliber pellet. But that was a nice, a nice hit. It expanded nice. I'm going to go back again. Here. Get rid of that old ballistics gel. Set up the new one. And going to go lock a load up the 22 rimfire. Let's see the damage on that. Hey guys, so if you couldn't see that whole thing before, sorry, we're not used to the camera. So here's the ballistics gel test for the 22 air rifle. You can see the shock wave there. So sorry about that. You can see that there. And there's another angle. The bolt went in off to the right and through the left here and you can see the bit of shockwave there 
So that's from the 22 air rifle. And here's from the 22 rimfire. You can see, oh, oh so there. So I went in from the right here, came out the left. You can see the kind of glass shattering effect it made. So there's the entry hole. There's the exit hole. You can see it's a pretty big exit hole, so it expanded a lot while it was in there. There's a close-up of it. In from the right and out from the left. So there's my 22 caliber category small game ballistic shell test. If you have any questions, you can let me know. Sorry that you couldn't see the entry holes on the first try. And I will see you guys later. Again, have any questions, let me know.